Take a look at these incredible new examples coming out of Sora. In this video, we're going to break these down, look at where Sora is excelling and where its limitations are. And at the end, we're going to take a little sneak peek into what the future of AI video might look like. So join me as we dive into the latest developments in AI video together. Take a look at this example. This is a supercar driving through a city night at night. Heavy rain everywhere shot from behind the car as it drives. And what's fantastic about Sora is its ability to render out realistic light reflections. Just look at how the lights of the car are accurately reflected into the wet tarmac. Now it picks up the changing lighting conditions underneath the street lights and adapts the shadows and lighting on the floor effectively, coherently and precisely, accurately mimicking reality. But if we look carefully, we can see where Sora has its limitations. And that is certainly in manifesting and generating extra objects, characters and elements to the piece that were not there before. So if you look carefully at this video, you can see that there does not appear to be any cars in front of the main red car. And as we continue, suddenly there appears to be two cars almost crashing into each other on the left hand side here and getting very close to our main red car. It seems as if the red car almost drives through these car on the left. Now, this is one of the most fantastic new demonstrations of Sora that we have. It's an alien blending in naturally with New York City paranoia thriller style. 35 millimeter film. Oh, it was absolutely incredible. I mean, you really could use this as the opening shot to a music video or a film. The, the quality is good enough for it to be believable and the wonderful cinematic feel to the blurred background and the intensity in his eyes, as well as the acting is, is very good as well. The acting of this character that he's looking around naturally, he looks interested and he also has this, this feeling of fear, of paranoia, of trying to blend in. I am empathizing with the character greatly in this. And, and beyond this, if you look at the, the costume design is particularly interesting that Sora has given him this uh, very, very specific style, this denim overcoat and a beige t-shirt and giving him this hat, this hat, this sort of slightly suspicious hat, the kind of hat somebody would wear if they want, don't want to be noticed and want to hide away a little bit. It's a very nondescript hat, but it works so well as an ensemble. And I particularly want to note the, the quality of the color choices in this shot, that we have the yellow eyes that really capture the attention. This is the, the strongest, most saturated color in the whole scene. And it draws you in and creates wonderful contrast, especially against the blue of the man's skin, of this dear little alien, that the skin is the opposite color to yellow. So the opposite color to yellow in the color spectrum is blue. And that means putting these two together gives you the most amount of contrast. This is also the easiest way to combine colors in an aesthetic way. And Sora has understood this and applied this in a way that is realistic. So not only have they selected a beautiful color palette, but they've actually applied this in a way that creates a, a realistic cinematic experience that doesn't look overly stylized. I'm particularly impressed by this. And it's also continues to use different hues of blues in the rest of the scene, notably with his jacket, with these awnings, the sky and the washed out colors of the world of New York City behind him. It also feels pretty good the way that he is turning slightly and the camera is following him round. It feels natural. The bobbing this to his gait adds a slight suspicion and anxiety to his experience. And as for the characters in the background, they all seem fairly realistic. Nobody seems to have unusual deformities. But here is the key thing about AI video, that the closer you look, the more obvious it is that it is AI generated. At first pass, you can say, okay, this is fairly realistic. But if you start to really analyze the details, the physics and the elements in the video, it can be very obvious and apparent that this is fake. For example, if you watch here on the left hand side, we have a man in red pass him and then suddenly another man in purple appears. 
out of nowhere. He, he manifests. It's interesting that it maintains the red man, but it adds in an extra man. So if you're looking to identify whether a video has been generated by AI, it's very important to pay attention to extra limbs being formed, extra characters being generated, also limbs and characters being removed, and also paying attention to the way that light acts in a scene. Are there unnatural shadows? And does the scene show correct perspectives of reality? Are things enlarging or getting smaller? Do staircases lead to sensible places? And here is another incredible example. This is nighttime footage of a hermit crab using an incandescent light bulb as its shell. And it's a wonderful imaginative idea, perfectly rendered with the coherent movement of the a little hermit crab really illustrating this idea effectively. And I think it's absolutely stunning. Especially if we draw out exactly uh, how beautiful the the light parameters are in this piece. That the light coming out of the bulb of its shell is really bringing in our attention and it's casting very realistic shadows over the subject. You can see that this back leg is lit up and there is a shadow being cast across the rest of the individual. This is incredible that Sora is able to accurately predict where shadows will fall and different lighting conditions dependent on the lights that are involved in the piece. It's also wonderful just to look at how realistic the crashing waves are, these tiny little lapping waves on the shore. That they, they perfectly mimic the physics of water. Now let's take a look at this example. A teapot pours a magical liquid full of swirling multicolored nebula into an elegant teacup that sits atop a saucer. So let's take a look at what some of the strengths of this piece are. Firstly, the ceramic is rendered extremely realistically. It certainly feels like a lifelike piece of ceramics, the reflections on the gold. And then I would say that the imagination of the universe swirling inside of this teacup is, is pretty beautiful. I would also like to mention that it accurately gets the fact that the amount of liquid will increase inside of the teacup as more is poured in. The water looks fairly realistic and is flowing in a natural way. It looks slightly thicker perhaps than water naturally would, as if it was a more uh, viscous substance. I would say that the contrast is slightly high, but overall it's a beautiful stunning piece. Incredible bubble dragon. And you can see how wonderfully generated this video is, that it's got bubbles making up this incredible dragon. The prompt for this was a dragon made of bubbles, perfectly rendered 8K. This is an extreme close-up shot of a woman's eye with her iris appearing as the earth. So it's able to take two different concepts and combine them into one, into something that is surreal and unrealistic. And it does that with perfection. It understands the concept. Next up, we have a golden retriever and Samoyoid should walk through New York City. Then a taxi should stop to let the dogs pass a crosswalk. So here we can see the dogs walking and it's definitely New York City that they're in. However, we have to pay attention to some of the text being nonsensical and something about the perspective feeling a little bit off. This woman is rather too tall under the shop and they are seeing themselves <laughs> in some signage. Next up we have a white and orange tabby alley cat is seen darting across a back street alley in heavy rain looking for shelter. And the cat is moving very realistically. You can see the only thing that I can pick out here that is slightly off is the tail seems to be changing length. Next up we have the cinematic trailer for a group of semioid puppies learning to become chefs. Now it's taking a, another surreal concept and easily anthropomorphizing these animals into master chefs. Here we have a tiger made of flowers leaping away and returning. So one aspect of Sora that appears to be working really well is creating surreal scenes in reality. So how can you take a realistic setting and create a imaginative, nonsensical subject 
inside of the scene. Next up we have a cinematic trailer for a group of adventurous puppies exploring ruins in the sky. And again, this could easily be the advertisement for a children's film and is absolutely sensational. Here we have a man and a woman in their 20s are dining in a futuristic restaurant materialized out of nanotech and ferrofluids. So it's understood the different elements of this prompt and effectively rendered them out. Now the woman looks very realistic. Her hands have exactly the right amount of digits. And I appreciate the interaction that's going on between these two. They're actually really talking. She is almost being a little bit flirtatious. He's certainly moving in and seems more interested than she is. A classic depiction of human behavior. Next up, this is one of the most beautiful examples that I've seen in this new set of Sora examples. It shows a macro shot of a leaf showing tiny trains moving through its veins. So it's a very creative, surreal subject, and it's perfectly animated this complex idea. And I particularly love how the train goes underneath some of the veins here. You can see it's almost like little tunnels and it's beautiful that it has recognized to do this and added that in as a feature uh, to give it more depth, more, more feeling, more beauty. Though perhaps you might argue that's not so realistic that if there was a tiny train driving along its veins, it would not actually go underneath the veins connected to the edges of the leaf. But I like it. Here we have a close-up of a majestic white dragon with pearlescent silver-edged scales, icy blue eyes and elegant ivory horns. Certainly reminds me of Spyro the dragon. Who remembers Spyro? The smoke coming out of the dragon is incredibly realistic and the teeth are quite frightening. A tortoise whose body is made of glass with cracks that have been repaired using King Sugi. So we have this beautiful luminous turtle walking across a beach and I can tell you that Kintsugi is a Japanese type of ceramics where they repair pottery by mending the areas of breakage with a gold liqueur and it's a beautiful technique that really shows that something that is repaired can almost become more beautiful than its original incarnation and I think they are stunning. And it's a very creative idea to apply this technique to a tortoise. One of the key skills about Sora and AI video in general is understanding where it works particularly well. If you're going to start using Sora in your own workflow, understanding that it works particularly well at generating unrealistic scenarios in realistic settings. That I think is the key use case that we're going to see Sora emerge from at first. Here we have a scuba diver discovers a hidden futuristic shipwreck. Next up, this is a fly through tour of a museum with many paintings and sculptures and beautiful works of art in all styles. So you get a wonderful sense of perspective. I particularly enjoy how it starts off outside of the museum and flies in through the courtyard. So I would say this might be quite challenging architecturally to actually embody. And some of the rendering of the light panels of the window panels in the ceiling are not accurate at all. It has created a very realistic scenario for a gallery and the majority of the works of art look fairly believable. So I'm not quite sure what this is in the corner. Is it a statue? Is it a woman? Is it something else entirely? It's rather unknown. And this is a very long and extended piece of video that has been generated for this example and it really shows Sora's ability to continually create original environments. Here is a beautifully rendered papercraft world. A steamboat travels across a vast ocean with wispy clouds in the sky. Now you can note that it has not actually rendered the wispy clouds and the boat is moving in quite an unusual way. It's certainly floating a little bit. Though I do like this dancing whale. The whale is dancing particularly beautifully. And I appreciate the stylized way that the waves are crashing out from the ocean. That there is a very unique style to these. They're not realistic, but they're also not particularly paper-like. There is something in between about them that I find to be quite unusual and creative. So now for something a little bit more absurd, a red panda and a toucan, our best friends taking a stroll through Santorini during the blue hour. I would say that this looks slightly less realistic than some of the other instances. <laughs> the red panda is very robotic in this example, though its tail is wagging 
in quite an amusing way. I'm not sure if they look exactly like best friends. They look a little bit lost <laughs> and as if they're like, what the hell are we doing in Santorini? Whose idea is this? It was you, Tukan. You wanted to go on a stag do to Santorini. I can't believe this is what you wanted to do for your bachelor party. There are absolutely zero strippers here. And the Tukan's like, let's go wild. I'm going to go crazy. Get the drinks in. <laughs> Get me that. Beautiful, beautiful, local drink. What's a local Greek drink? <laughs> okay. Now, next up, we have a man based jumping over tropical Hawaii waters. His pet, Makor, flies alongside him. Now, the flapping of the wings is working particularly well here. I enjoy the angle and composition of the camera shot. It's giving us a lovely feeling of Hawaii. I would say that the actual parachute is slightly too small is my feeling and it also you can notice that this hand is not even sort of hanging on to anything now it grabs onto something but at first it's it's completely open which is an unrealistic interpretation of how you would handle a parachute now there are a few places that you can stay updated with the latest examples from sora one is you can check out the open ai tiktok page where they release almost daily new examples from sora here is a horse wearing roller skates, skating in a half pipe. Now the true benchmark of AI video is undoubtedly Will Smith eating spaghetti. And as you can see, one year ago, we were quite impressed with this rather strange and deluded version of Will Smith eating spaghetti. But here is the Sora version. And you can see him, he's doing absolutely fantastically. He's Maybe looking a little bit maniacal, but the, it's definitely Will Smith, and the realism is astounding. Actually, no, I'm sorry, I tell a lie. Naughty me. This is, uh, Will Smith was being very funny, and he parodied the actual video of the AI video of him eating spaghetti, of him actually doing that. So, well done, Will Smith. You fooled us all. But many people are asking Sora to generate this image, this video that it is the most liked comment on the Sora TikTok page, where Olifield says, we're still waiting on spaghetti eating Will Smith with more than 2,000 hearts. I'll add another one. And until we see Will Smith eating spaghetti, I will hold my breath on the quality of Sora. But it's unlikely that they will actually create this type of video. This is because if we look at the terms of use inside DALI 3, which is OpenAI's text to image model, they do not allow you to create images in the likeness of famous people. So with that in mind, it's unlikely that they're going to allow it in their video model. And we have to say that OpenAI is generally the most cautious of many of the AI tools out there when it comes to creating types of content in its tool. They do not allow any nudity, they do not allow us to use famous people, and they don't even allow us to use the styles of famous artists or directors. And that's going to be a huge challenge for Sora moving forward. Now, another place that you can check out the latest updates on Sora is on Tim Brooks' Twitter feed. He is the Sora research lead, and he has posted a number of interesting examples. Here is one of my favorites, this glass turtle, where we can see the insides of a turtle moving along. It seems that turtles do particularly well in Sora. It is absolutely mind-boggling. It's both artistic and realistic. You would say that it's hard to point out anything that is anatomically unrealistic about this particular example, apart from the fact that he has a small world inside of his body. So what do these latest examples show us? They show us in more detail the capabilities of Sora and also the limitations. And the limitations are certainly that it appears to struggle with physics and reality. It struggles to coherently create a believable world and specifically by not understanding the realities of how many limbs humans have by adding in extra limbs and adding in extra characters, simply inventing them rather than them joining the scene in a realistic way. It does a fairly good job of interpreting the universe, but it often 
messes up the perspectives and relations between people and objects. I would also say that stylistically, there is some room for improvement in the general look and feel of the videos coming out of Sora. And I'm saying this because if you look at how Dali performs with generating visually interesting images, it often struggles to apply beauty to the images. We can look at this example from Dali and you can see that it creates a very saturated, high contrast image that's looking lacking stylistic intent. Whereas I would say that Midjourney, which is the leading AI image generator, creates much more visually pleasing images. This is important to note because there are a number of other AI video players coming into the game. We know that Midjourney is working on its own AI video tool. But it was only last week that Hyper was released. And I think that Hyper creates the most stylistically beautiful videos. And I also think it is the highest quality AI video generator that is available right now. That's because Sora is not available publicly and there's not even a proposed release date. But I think they will release it soon because there are so many other AI video generators moving into the game that are creating videos that are close to the quality that Sora is offering. So you can see here are some of the examples inside of Hyper and you can use this for free right now if you want to have a look at Hyper. The only limitation that I want to mention is that Hyper creates just two second videos at the moment. And that is more to do with them limiting the amount of weight on their servers rather than the capabilities of the tool itself. So let's take a look at a video from Hyper to show you what you can get out of this tool. So I would mention that the aesthetic of the video coming out of Hyper is extremely high. The visual quality, the visual artistry I think that the not only is the composition, the colors, the color grading, and even the models are beautiful, the, the actors inside of the piece, but also the visual flow of the works. Even in this landscape example, you can see the water rushing over the rocks. I would also like to share that if you find a two second limitation to being a large restraint on your works, it's interesting to note that the majority of films or TV shows these days use clips and scenes that are between one and three seconds long. If you notice how often they cut during your favorite film, you'll see that it's extremely rare that they even use a shot that's longer than three seconds long. Of course, there are exceptions to this rule. I also have a full video breaking down exactly how you can use Hyper available in the description or here if I remember to put one in. The other reason I believe Sora will release their models soon is because there are other platforms that are adding in extremely interesting features unrelated to just video generation. For example, in the last week, Pika Labs has announced a new tool that allows you to generate specific sound elements for your video. So you can generate video and audio at the same time. And this multi-modality of AI generation is where things are going to get really exciting. So I'm going to play you their preview and explain exactly how this works. You can generate video and sound together. All you have to do is describe your scene and turn on sound effects. So it will automatically create what it imagines the appropriate sound effects to be. Now, once you've generated this, you'll get a sound added, but you can also come back and edit existing videos and add in sound afterwards. Now, this is great for creating more immersive pieces of content. And it will give you six different options for the sound that you want to use. And it's really showing us the direction that generative AI will take. And that's not just creating single medium pieces, for example, a single video, a single image, or a single piece of music, but being able to craft compelling 
intricate worlds with simple text prompts. And that's what another tool, LTX Studio, is demonstrating as well. They are showing that you'll be able to update a number of different clips using simple text prompts. So if you're generating a whole story and you've got many different scenes and you want to adjust the character, you'll be able to do that simply with a text prompt. You'll be able to say, okay, actually, I want them to be of a different ethnicity. I want them to have a different hairstyle. I want them to have larger bosoms. And this is where AI video is going to get even more exciting. So it's going to be another fascinating AI year. And I'm here to take you through everything that you need to know. So if you're interested in sticking around, I would like to mention that there is an, a subscription button around here somewhere. And if you find it, if you were to click it, it would be a great honor to have you join me on this journey into the frontier of AI development. I would like to say thank you very much for watching. It's a pleasure to have you here. and. Let me know what you think about the latest examples of Sora in the comments below and what you're most excited about in the future of AI video. Thanks for watching. I'm Samson Voles, and I hope you have a delightful day.